I'm literally sitting face to face with the wild and highly venomous Eastern Diamondback Rams. So I cut my waistband, uh, which is super tight because my whole body is swollen. You got me. Down here in South Texas, when I'm guiding, you bring snake boots, you keep your hands off the ground. I wear these big 18 inch snake boots like this. Extremely painful for a while, and uh, morphine did not help one bit. Okay, guys, take a look. Ah. Look what we just found. Look what we just found. Oh, no, 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 no. Baby. Not good. I piece it on. Not good. I piece it on. <laughs> In the heart of North America's wilderness, a silent predator lies in wait. Its venomous fangs poised to strike, unleashing a world of pain and danger. Join us on a journey into the realm of the continent's most feared inhabitants, the deadly serpents of North America. From the lethal strike of the Eastern Diamondback to the stealthy ambush of the Copperhead, these creatures command respect and caution in equal measure. But beware, for their bite brings not only excruciating pain, but also the risk of life-threatening consequences. In this video, we unravel the mysteries of North America's deadliest snake bites and explore the harrowing stories of those who've encountered these venomous predators firsthand. Welcome to the realm of the most dangerous and painful snake bites in North America. 10. Prairie Rattlesnake Crotalus Viridis In the heart of North America's prairies, a silent predator lies in wait. Its venomous fangs poised to strike, unleashing a world of pain and danger. Meet the Prairie Rattlesnake. A master of stealth and survival. With its cryptic coloration and lethal bite, this serpent commands respect and caution in equal measure. Adults can range from two to four feet in length, with females generally larger than males. They inhabit a variety of grassland habitats, including prairies, meadows, and open woodlands. Prairie rattlesnakes are typically gray or tan in color, with dark blotches along their bodies. They have a distinctive rattle on the end of their tail, which they use as a warning signal when threatened. Prairie rattlesnakes are generally docile and shy, but they will defend themselves if provoked. They are ambush predators, lying in wait for prey to pass by before striking with their venomous bite. Their venom is hematoxic, meaning it affects the blood and tissues. While not usually fatal to humans, a bite can cause severe pain, swelling, and tissue damage. In case of a lethal bite from a prairie rattlesnake, it is important to stay calm and try to keep the affected limb immobilized to prevent the venom from spreading. Seek medical help immediately. Call emergency services or go to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. Keep the affected limb or below heart level to slow the spread of venom. Remove any tight clothing or jewelry near the bite site to prevent constriction as swelling occurs. Avoid using a tourniquet or applying ice to the bite, as these can worsen tissue damage. Provide medical professionals with information about the snake if possible, such as its appearance and behavior, to help them determine the appropriate treatment. Remember, prevention is the best form of defense against snake bites. Stay vigilant when hiking or working in snake-prone areas. Wear sturdy boots and long pants, and watch where you step to avoid accidental encounters with these venomous reptiles. Knowledge is your best defense against the dangers of the prairie. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe. 
Nine, water moccasin agcastrode and piscivers. In the murky depths of the southern swamps, a silent predator lurks. Its dark form gliding through the waters, a deadly threat waiting to strike. Meet the water moccasin, also known as the cottonmouth, a creature of shadow and stealth. With its cryptic coloration and venomous bite, this serpent commands respect and fear in equal measure. But what happens when man crosses paths with this deadly denizen of the deep? What should you do if you find yourself facing the venomous wrath of the water moccasin? First, let's understand the characteristics of the water moccasin. Water moccasins are typically dark colored, ranging from brown to black, with darker bands or patterns on their bodies. Juveniles may have lighter coloration and distinct patterns. Adults can reach lengths of two to four feet, with females usually larger than males. They inhabit wetland areas such as swamps, marshes, and slow-moving bodies of water like rivers and streams. Water moccasins are semi-aquatic and are often found near water. They are generally aggressive when threatened, and they may display their cotton white mouth as a warning signal. Their venom is hemotoxic, meaning it affects the blood and tissues. Take a look at his finger now. I found out this is what happened after a poisonous snake bit him. While rarely fatal to humans, a bite can cause severe pain, swelling, and tissue damage. In case of a lethal bite from a water moccasin, it is important to stay calm and try to keep the affected limb mobilized to prevent the venom from spreading. Seek medical help immediately. Call emergency services or go to the nearest hospital as soon as possible. Keep the affected limb or below heart level to slow the spread of venom. In such a dire situation, every second counts. Remove any tight clothing or jewelry near the bite site to prevent constriction as swelling occurs. Avoid using a tourniquet or applying ice to the bite, as these can worsen tissue damage. Provide medical professionals with information about the snake if possible, such as its appearance and behavior, to help them determine the appropriate treatment. Remember, prevention is the best form of defense against snake bites. Stay vigilant when hiking or working in snake-prone areas, wear sturdy boots and long pants, and watch where you step to avoid accidental encounters with these venomous reptiles. Knowledge is your best defense against the dangers of the swamp. Stay informed, stay vigilant, and stay safe. Eight, Sonoran Coral Snake Microroids Eurexanthus. In the vast expanse of the southwestern desert, a hidden threat lies in wait. Its vibrant colors are warning sign to those who dare to tread to close. Meet the Sonoran Coral Snake, a creature of beauty and danger. With its vivid red, black, in white bands, it is a sight to behold. But make no mistake, beneath its striking exterior lies a potent venom that can bring even the bravest to their knees. But what happens when man encounters this enigmatic serpent? What should you do if you find yourself face to face with the Sonoran Coral Snake? First, Let's understand the characteristics of the Sonoran Coral Snake. With its distinctive banding pattern and relatively small size, it is easily recognizable but often elusive. Its neurotoxic venom can cause paralysis and respiratory failure, making swift action essential. In the event of a lethal bite, every second counts. Here's what you need to do to give yourself the best chance of survival. 
Stay calm and keep the affected limb immobilized to prevent the venom from spreading. Seek medical help immediately and provide as much information about the snake as possible to aid in treatment. Remember, prevention is the best form of defense against snake bites. Stay vigilant when exploring the desert. Wear protective clothing and footwear and never attempt to handle or provoke a Sanarin coral snake. In the unforgiving wilderness of the Sanarin desert, Danger lurks at every turn. But armed with knowledge and caution, you can navigate this hostile terrain and emerge unscathed. Stay safe, and may the desert winds guide you on your journey. Seven, Eastern Coral Snake Microrus Fulvius. In the depths of the southeastern United States, a deadly predator lurks in the shadows. Its vibrant colors beckon, but beware, this is no creature to be trifled with. Meet the eastern coral snake, a master of disguise and destruction. With its striking bands of red, yellow, and black, it moves with silent precision, a serpent of deadly beauty. But beneath its mesmerizing appearance lies a lethal secret, a venom more potent than most. One bite from this creature could spell certain doom. Its neurotoxic venom attacks the nervous system, bringing paralysis and death to its victims. Yet, it strikes without warning, leaving no time for escape. For those unlucky enough to cross its path, the eastern coral snake offers no mercy. Its bite is swift and merciless, a silent killer in the forest's depths. But fear not, for knowledge is your greatest weapon. Remember the rhyme, red touches yellow, kill a fellow. Red touches black, friend of Jack, and if bitten, seek help immediately. The eastern coral snake has a slender body and a small head. Its distinctive color pattern consists of red, yellow, and black bands that encircle the body. Adult eastern coral snakes typically measure between 20 to 30 inches in length. The venom of the eastern coral snake is highly potent and neurotoxic, affecting the nervous system and causing respiratory failure if not treated promptly. Eastern coral snakes are typically shy and reclusive, preferring to avoid confrontation with humans. They spend much of their time hidden beneath leaf litter or in burrows. The bite of an eastern coral snake can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Symptoms of envenomation may include numbness, weakness, difficulty breathing, and paralysis. Eastern coral snakes exhibit a form of Batesian mimicry where non-venomous snakes such as scarlet king snakes and scarlet snakes mimic their coloration. This can lead to misidentification and accidental bites. The best way to prevent an encounter with an eastern coral snake is to avoid areas where they are known to inhabit, such as wooded areas with dense vegetation. If bitten by an eastern coral snake or any snake species, seek medical attention immediately. Do not attempt to handle or capture the snake, as this can increase the risk of further injury. So tread carefully, adventurers, for in the realm of the eastern coral snake, danger lurks at every turn. And only those who respect its deadly beauty will emerge unscathed. <laughs> Odds are pretty high. Our little friend here will never see another human ever again. That's low. Hey, bye, little snake. Good luck. Okay, guys, take a look. Six, look Copperhead Adkistrodon Contortrix. Baby. In the heart of the eastern United States, danger hides beneath the forest floor. Well, guys, so far, all I've found is a garter snake that fled before I could get the camera on. Among the fallen leaves and tangled underbrush, a silent predator awaits its unsuspecting prey.
especially when they but come up with the rock and again couldn't get the camera on time so I'm gonna leave the camera on now the whole time this is up my batteries so go ahead and listen to footage so I'm hoping we can get him to cooperate otherwise I've got this container so I can keep talking about him ah it's likely oh, that once no, he finds no, no, out no, no. that his camouflage oh, no, is not working to protect him. Not good. He's not going good. To try uh, not good at all. Not good at all. Oh, are you going to wipe off? That would be nice. Not good at all. Not good at all. Not good at all. Shit. Um, okay. I'm scared. Okay. I'm scared. Okay. Yes. Hey, cutie. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, could you go get a uh, ranger? I just got bit by a copperhead. Isn't that so cool? Oh, Thank you. great. <laughs> so I just got bit by Copperhead. Meet the Copperhead, a master of disguise and deadly venom. With its copper-colored head and cryptic markings, it blends seamlessly into its surroundings, a phantom in the shadows. But make no mistake, beneath its tranquil facade lies a potent toxin capable of inflicting pain and devastation. With lightning speed, the copperhead strikes, its venomous fangs sinking into flesh. The pain is instant, the consequences dire. Yet, for those who dare to venture into its domain, the copperhead offers no mercy. Its bite is swift and unforgiving, a reminder of nature's unforgiving wrath. But fear not, for knowledge is your greatest ally. Stay vigilant, watchful for signs of danger. And if you encounter a copperhead, give it wide berth, respect its space, and let it slither away. They have distinctive hourglass-shaped patterns along their bodies, with darker bands alternating with lighter bands. Copperheads are found throughout the eastern United States, from Texas to the Midwest and up into New England. They inhabit a variety of habitats, including forests, woodlands, rocky areas, and brushy fields. Copperheads are primarily terrestrial snakes, but they are also capable climbers and may be found basking on rocks or in trees. They are typically shy and elusive, preferring to avoid confrontation with humans. Copperhead snakes are venomous, but their venom is relatively mild compared to that of other venomous snakes, such as rattlesnakes. Copperhead bites are rarely fatal to humans, but they can cause pain, swelling, and tissue damage. Like most snakes, copperheads will typically only bite if they feel threatened or cornered. Accidental encounters with copperheads can occur when humans accidentally step on or near them, especially in areas where they are abundant. When hiking or spending time outdoors in copperhead habitat, be vigilant and watchful for snakes. Stay on designated trails and avoid reaching into brush or rocks where snakes may be hiding. We're sturdy. Closed toe shoes or boots when walking in areas where copperheads may be present to reduce the risk of being bitten on the feet or ankles. If you encounter a copperhead, give it plenty of space and avoid provoking or harassing it. Back away slowly and allow the snake to move away on its own. In the event of a copperhead bite, seek medical attention immediately, even if symptoms are mild. While copperhead bites are rarely life-threatening, prompt medical treatment can help minimize pain and complications. For in the realm of the copperhead, danger lurks at every turn. 5. Texas Coral Snake Microrus Tenor what if I told you the snake with the deadliest venom in the country also has no anti-venom to treat it? For those unfortunate enough to fall prey to this silent assassin, hope is scarce. Coral snake anti-venom is a rare and precious commodity in North America. In the laboratories of pharmaceutical companies, dedicated scientists work tirelessly to unlock the secrets of coral snake venom. 
Their mission, to develop an effective anti-venom that can save lives. But the road is long and fraught with challenges. Coral snake venom is complex, its effects unpredictable. Developing an anti-venom requires painstaking research and meticulous testing. So as the coral snake continues its silent reign of terror in the southern wilds, the quest for anti-venom marches on. For in the battle between predator and prey, knowledge is our greatest weapon. Join us on this journey of discovery as we unravel the mysteries of the coral snake and strive to protect those who dare to roam its domain. In the heart of the southern United States, danger lurks beneath the leafy undergrowth. Among the shadows and dappled sunlight, a silent killer lies in wait. Meet the coral snake, a creature of vibrant beauty and deadly venom. Its striking colors serve as a warning to all who dare to cross its path. But beneath its mesmerizing appearance lies a potent toxin capable of bringing even the strongest to their knees. With a lightning-fast strike, the coral snake delivers its deadly payload. Its venom attacks the nervous system, bringing paralysis and death to its victims. Yet, it strikes without warning, leaving no time for escape. For those who encounter this silent assassin, the stakes could not be higher. But fear not, for knowledge is your greatest ally. The Texas coral snake has a similar color pattern to other coral snakes, featuring alternating bands of red, yellow, and black along its body. However, the Texas coral snake is relatively small, typically measuring between 20 to 30 inches in length. The venom of the Texas coral snake is highly potent and neurotoxic, affecting the nervous system and causing respiratory failure if not treated promptly. Texas coral snakes are typically shy and reclusive, preferring to avoid confrontation with humans. They spend much of their time hidden beneath leaf litter or in burrows, while the eastern coral snake is found primarily in the southeastern United States. The Texas coral snake is more commonly found in the southern and southwestern regions, including Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. Like other coral snakes, the bite of a Texas coral snake can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Symptoms of envenomation may include numbness, weakness, difficulty breathing, and paralysis. The best way to prevent an encounter with a Texas coral snake is to avoid areas where they are known to inhabit, such as wooded areas with dense vegetation. Remembering the rhyme, red touches yellow, kill a fellow, red touches black, friend of Jack, can help distinguish between venomous coral snakes and harmless mimics. If bitten by a Texas coral snake or any snake species, seek medical attention immediately. Do not attempt to handle or capture the snake, as this can increase the risk of further injury. So tread carefully, adventurers, for in the realm of the Texas coral snake, danger lurks at every turn, and only those who respect its deadly beauty will emerge unscathed. Four, Timber Rattlesnake Crotalus Horridus. In the heart of eastern North America's wilderness lies a creature both feared and revered. The Timber Rattlesnake. Meet Crotalus Horridus, the Timber Rattlesnake. With its thick body adorned in dark bands, it commands respect in its natural habitat. But what sets this serpent apart from others? Its heat-sensing pits, strategically positioned to detect prey with pinpoint accuracy. And of course, who could forget its most famous attribute? The iconic rattle at the end of its tail, a warning to all who dare to approach. But with great power comes great responsibility. The venom of the timber rattlesnake is a potent cocktail designed to incapacitate prey swiftly, 
but they will often deliver a dry venomless bite as a warning when feeling threatened. As for risks, while timber rattlesnake bites are relatively rare, they can be dangerous if untreated. Yes, you read that right. Yes, Half a million dollar medical bill for rattlesnake bite. Symptoms of a bite may include swelling pain, nausea, vomiting, and in severe cases, tissue damage or even death, although fatalities are uncommon with prompt medical treatment. Therefore, it's essential to exercise caution and respect their space when encountering them in the wild. I was photographing Southern Pacific rattlesnakes, which is known for having a pretty bad bite uh, as far as rattlesnakes go. It's probably not a good one, but uh, anyway, uh, I was uh, so stupid. There, there, I was photographing it, and there's this one blade of grass in my uh, in my way, and so I went to go grab it. I figured I could get it, but I'd already spooked a different rattlesnake into this big rock where I was photographing. It was a din site. It was October. There's rattlesnakes all over this area. I had spooked one. It went under the rock. I thought it was gone, but it's just tucked up underneath. And as soon as I grabbed that grass, I couldn't see it, but it saw me, and it nailed me so fast. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That, that's my first thought, because I knew better. I worked with so many venomous snakes. You don't, you don't do that. It's, it's, it's irresponsible and dumb, but I did, and I paid for it. Thankfully, modern medicine offers a lifeline, anti-venom. But producing this life-saving elixir is no easy feat. The cost of anti-venom reflects the intricate production process, the need for specialized facilities, and the constant battle against time. Yet, despite the challenges, anti-venom remains a beacon of hope for those bitten by the timber rattlesnake. So as we venture into the wilderness, let us remember the delicate balance between fear and fascination. Three Mojave rattlesnake crotalus scutulitis. In the unforgiving deserts of the American Southwest, Two titans of the serpent world reign supreme. The Mojave rattlesnake and the western diamondback rattlesnake. Meet Crotalus scutulatus, the Mojave rattlesnake. Its sleek form and diamond-shaped blotches mark it as a formidable predator. But beware its bite, for within lies a potent concoction of neurotoxins, capable of paralyzing prey within seconds. Mojave rattlesnakes have a similar appearance to many other rattlesnake species, with a triangular-shaped head and a segmented rattle at the end of their tail. They typically have a light brown or beige background color with dark diamond-shaped blotches running down their back. Their venom contains potent neurotoxins, in addition to hemotoxins, which can cause paralysis and respiratory failure in prey. They have one of the most potent rattlesnake venoms, capable of causing severe symptoms in humans if bitten. Extremely painful for a while, and uh, morphine did not help one bit. I, I had a pair of barbecue tongs that were about 14 inches long. I figured, well, if I can't use it, at least I can maybe get an eye on, see how big it is, and you know, kind of just assess the situation. We would go out and clear, make sure the areas were snake free, um, collect them if we, if we found them, and release them other way, you know, release them away from uh, the area. Put the bucket down, and then when I reached the tongs in to kind of move the bushes, struck and got me. Honestly, the first thought in my head was idiot, because I know better. Mojave rattlesnakes inhabit a variety of arid environments, including deserts, scrublands, and rocky areas. They are well adapted to survive in harsh desert conditions. Mojave rattlesnake bites can be extremely dangerous due to the potency of their venom. Symptoms of envenomation may include pain, swelling, nausea, difficulty breathing, and in severe cases, paralysis or death. Encounters with Mojave rattlesnakes are possible when hiking or camping in their habitat. A 
especially during warmer months when they are more active. It's essential to watch where you step and be cautious around rocky outcroppings and brush where they may be hiding. Prompt medical treatment is crucial if bitten by a Mojave rattlesnake. Antivenom is the primary treatment for snake bite envenomation, but it should be administered by trained medical professionals in a hospital setting. And lurking nearby its cousin, Crotalus Aatrox, the western diamondback rattlesnake. As you can see, there's a notable difference between these two. Mojave rattlesnakes tend to have lighter background colors with darker diamond-shaped blotches. While western diamondback rattlesnakes typically have darker background colors with lighter diamond-shaped blotches. Mojave rattlesnakes possess a neurotoxic component in their venom, while western diamondback rattlesnakes primarily have hematoxic venom. Mojave rattlesnakes are found in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. While western diamondback rattlesnakes have a broader range that extends further into the central and southeastern United States. But in the vast expanse of the desert, danger lurks beneath every stone. Encounters with these serpents can turn deadly in an instant. Yet, amidst the peril, there is hope. Swift medical intervention and the miraculous antidote known as antivenom can mean the difference between life and death. So as we tread lightly through these arid lands, let us heed the warnings of the Mojave and the Western Diamondback and respect the untamed beauty of nature's most fearsome reptiles. Two Western Diamond Black Rattlesnake Crotalus Aatrox. The Western Diamond Black Rattlesnake is a large venomous snake found in the southwestern United States and northern Mexico. It is recognized by its light gray to brown base color, adorned with dark diamond shaped markings along its back, giving it a distinctive appearance. Adults typically reach lengths of three to five feet but can grow larger. They have a robust body with a triangular-shaped head, killed scales, and heat-sensing pits located between their nostrils and eyes. At the end of their tail, they possess a segmented rattle that produces a buzzing sound when vibrated, serving as a warning signal. Their long, hollow fangs are capable of delivering venom during a bite, making encounters potentially dangerous, especially considering their potent, hemotoxic venom. This guy is an experienced snake handler. He was exploring a rugged desert landscape looking for the western diamond black rattlesnake. With the sound of wind blowing through the scrub brush, he eventually saw the rattlesnake. He even tried to pet the snake and everything was okay. The next minute, all that was heard was, ouch, he got me whilst grimacing in pain. He examined his hand and noticed to puncture wounds on his middle finger with swelling and redness already evident. He stayed calm but knew he needed to act fast. The venom from this snake is highly toxic and can cause serious harm. His friends administered first aid and knew they had to immobilize the affected limb and get him to a hospital immediately. A bite from a western diamondback rattlesnake can be life-threatening, with symptoms ranging from severe pain and swelling to systemic effects such as nausea, vomiting, and tissue necrosis. This dramatic scenario underscores the importance of awareness and preparedness when venturing into snake habitat. If bitten by a venomous snake like the western diamondback rattlesnake, Quick action and prompt medical treatment are essential for a successful outcome. Two months and a half a finger later. One. Eastern Diamond Black Rattlesnake Cratylus Adamantius. This is the largest venomous snake species native to North America, found primarily in the southeastern United States. 
recognizable by its large size, prominent diamond-shaped markings along its back, and fit body. This species can grow up to eight feet in length. It possesses long, hollow fangs capable of delivering a potent hematoxic venom, which can cause severe pain, tissue damage, and even death if left untreated. Despite their fearsome reputation, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes are generally shy and will typically retreat when encountered. But they will defend themselves if threatened, making caution essential when exploring their habitat. Eastern diamondback rattlesnake primarily inhabits states such as Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and Mississippi. Within this range, they are commonly found in diverse habitats such as pine flatwoods, coastal scrub, swamps, wetlands, brushy areas, and rural landscapes. These adaptable snakes seek shelter under fallen logs in dense vegetation or among rocky outcroppings while also utilizing sandy areas for basking and hunting. However, habitat loss and fragmentation pose significant threats to their survival, emphasizing the need for conservation efforts to protect their diverse range of habitats. Enters the full gospel tabernacle in Jesus' name for the last snake bite story. The church is bathed in the soft glow of light as worshippers gather for a solemn service. In the shadow of tragedy, the faithful return to the hallowed halls of the full gospel tabernacle, where the legacy of Pastor Jamie Coots lives on. With heavy hearts and unwavering resolve, Cody Coots carries on his father's sacred tradition, stepping into the role of spiritual leader. Suddenly, the atmosphere shifts as the snake strikes, sinking its fangs into Cody's head. Gasps of horror fill the church as chaos erupts. In a heart-stopping moment, history repeats itself as the venom courses through Cody's veins, threatening to claim yet another life. Worshippers rush forward, their cries mingling with prayers as they desperately attempt to help Cody in his time of need. But unlike his father before him, Cody Coots chooses a different path, one paved with the wisdom of hard-earned lessons. Cody, pale and trembling, makes the difficult decision to seek medical treatment, acknowledging the limitations of faith in the face of mortal peril. In a race against time, Cody Coots fights for his life, confronting the harsh reality of mortality with courage and resilience. His faith unwavering but tempered by newfound wisdom, Cody Coots emerges from the shadows of tragedy. His journey serves as a testament to the power of faith, the resilience of the human spirit, and the importance of seeking help in times of need. The sun sets over the mountains, casting a warm glow over the church where hope and healing converge. In the wake of darkness, let us find light. In the face of adversity, let us find strength. And in the depths of despair, let us find hope. <laughs>